Today after about 20-30 minutes after setting up a new update, we came back to the car and we see the release has installed successfully. This is a release number 4.5 and includes three new features. A supercharger locations, visitor chargers, charge limit and a few enhancements. Maps, contact sorting, front defrost mode, battery support and improved battery heating. Let's see the features in a little bit more detail. So in supercharging locations you will be able to see a list of the nearest supercharging locations as well as see them on the map and I imagine navigate them to them as well. Um, let's see a little bit further down. Um, you'll have a list of your visited chargers so it's kind of like a list of your favorites. Um, next, which I think is the most impressive or important new feature, um, is ability to set your charging limits more precisely um, within your daily uh, trip limit or uh, for huge road trips. So before you could only set it between max and standard, now you can decide uh, with the slider how far you want your battery to charge. And we'll visit that later in more detail. Um, maps uh, will show a better font for streets when you magnify the map two times. That looks crisper, I guess. Contact sorting gives you a new feature. You can sort your phone contacts either by last or your first name. Very useful. New defrost mode. We're in Florida, so probably not going to use that one much. But it, look like, it looks like you're going to be able to have a standard defrost and a max defrost versus a regular, uh, just a standard defrost uh, on the front, wind, front windshield only. And then battery support. When uh, plugged in, the Model S will take the necessary um, power to cool or heat the cabin or whichever, uh, whatever else you might be doing in the car when parked from um, the wall, not the battery. So that's a very good improvement. And then improved battery heating. Um, battery heating when charging on low wall power grid connections has been improved to ensure that the battery does not discharge to heat itself. So this is our new maps application after an update 4.5 and we have a new button places with a new tab it's called superchargers and it has a list of all its supercharging locations currently available in the United States and the closest one is 999 miles away from us in Delaware. So that's a map of United States and we have a whole new button also on the right of the screen which lets us see our visitor chargers and really that's currently the one in California where our car originated in our house. And if we want to see all the tr super chargers on the map they're all in California and just two on the east coast. Hopefully this is gonna fill up all the way down the east coast and across the United States in a very very near future. But it looks like it's gonna be a very necessary feature to have to see all the charging stations. So here's the feature we like about the new update 4.5 the most. Your ability to set a battery charge at more precise levels and you can tap right here and then set up your limits within either daily driving or for a trip uh, or even less than that let's try to move it a little bit uh, you can't charge it less than a half I guess why would you um, but that slider is pretty pretty cool uh, definitely a lot more flexibility than just uh, standard and max Another important portion of the storage um, is the back trunk, which is pretty sizable. This is a upper baby Vista stroller fitting inside um, with the buggy seat, so it's for two kids. Um, and, and it fits really 